they see me now. They see me now as the guy that with his shirt off who can do 4,030 pull-ups in 17 hours, who can run 205 miles in 39 hours, who can do all this crazy shit. But what they don't understand is they don't understand the journey that it took me to get to this point. And what got me to this point was I was just the opposite of what I I was that guy who ran away from absolutely everything that I got in front of me. But not many people knew that. I had two people. At the, at, at the, like, like the real me was like this very scared, insecure, stuttering, got beat up by his dad, all this kind of stuff. And then I, I built this fake person that walked around like my shit didn't stink, you know? <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah, so that was that's kind of how I did it. And I, through the process of time, I realized that I was lying to myself and lying to people. I was afraid of the water, so I avoided it. And um, I gained 125 pounds in that time frame. I went from 175 to almost 300 to 297 was the heaviest. And I started finding things that was comfortable. And the more things I found comfortable, the more uncomfortable my mind was. We got two voices in our mind. The more I know this fucking truth. I've heard them. I'm here now. <laughs> and they're real. Just that one voice. That voice I used to love to fucking hear. We love to hear. It's that soft motherfucker. That soft motherfucking voice that says, sleep the fuck in. It's okay. It's that calming voice. You want to be hugged and nurtured and all that shit. And says it's gonna be okay. Well, there's another motherfucking voice that wakes you up in the middle of the night. You got your girlfriend. You got your boyfriend. You got that demon fucking voice that whispers in your fucking ear. It says, get up, motherfucker. You're not fucking good enough.